And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when he gave a khutbah, he gave a sermon, and the companions began, their hearts were moved, and they began to cry, and they began to feel as if this, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was saying goodbye to them, as if it was a farewell sermon. So one of them stood up and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, it seems to us as if this is a farewell sermon. So advise us. They were waiting, hoping for some precious piece of advice from the Prophet ﷺ. That if he was to leave them at that moment, there would be something they could hang on to. And so these were the words of the Prophet ﷺ. He said, I advise you to fear Allah. I advise you to fear Allah and to hear and obey your Amir even if he is an Abyssinian slave. He said, after me, you will see great differing. You will see great ikhtilaf, great differing. The Prophet is telling his companions that after I have gone, you will see people differing to a great extent. So he said, cling to my sunnah and the sunnah of the Khulafa al-Rashideen, the rightly guided successors, and bite it with your molar teeth. Bite it and beware of the newly invented matters in the religion. This was the advice of the Prophet ﷺ. He didn't just say cling to my sunnah, but he also mentioned the sunnah of the Khulafa al-Rashideen, the rightly guided successors, which means of course, first and foremost, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq. And then Umar ibn al-Khattab, and Uthman ibn Affan, and Ali ibn Talib. These first and foremost are the Khulafa al-Rashideen. And of course, the house of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which includes his wife Aisha and Fatima and whoever